hello 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 beautiful people and welcome on back to my channel now in today's video i just want to give you guys an update of where i am with my weight loss via vsg it has officially been 11 months since i got my surgery done and yeah like clockwork <laughs> like clockwork i'm here to give you guys an update of how much weight i've lost over the past four weeks and how much weight i've lost overall since the day i got my surgery done let me just give you guys the stats and then we'll get into how i'm feeling about the numbers and all of that so this is my 11 month post-op update so the last time i gave you guys an update my weight was at 67.8 kilograms which was at my 10 month post-op update and now 11 months post-op, I'm at 67.6 kilograms, meaning that I've lost 0 0.2 kilograms. So that means the total weight that I've lost to date is 39 kilograms. And remember, my new target weight now is 65 kilograms, which means I only have 2.6 kilograms to go until I reach that target weight of 65 kilograms now am i mad that i've only lost 0 0.2 kilograms no i'm not i have already reached my main target weight of 70 kilograms and me getting to 65 kilograms is not a hard target whether i get to it or i don't i will still be happy i am happy with how i'm looking so far i'm happy with the amount of weight that i've lost to date so me not losing any weight over the past four weeks is not a train smash okay so now i'm gonna get into my diet my activity levels and how i'm doing mentally as i always do with every update that i give you guys my diet is sort of still the same with every day that comes by i'm incorporating more and more food groups into my diet i'm introducing more things into my diet i try to keep it more healthy i try to keep the carbs at a minimum but i am eating carbs i am eating fats i am eating protein I'm eating just about anything at this point. The only thing that I still haven't really introduced back into my diet and going forward, I still will not be doing that's red meat. I mean, so going forward, that is something that I'll still continue keeping out of my diet. What else have I not had? Because alcohol, I have been having um, wine here and there. So I have been having a glass of wine, um, maybe once a week or once every two weeks or so in my last update or one of my vlogs i mentioned that i have lost my passion for cooking which means that i have sort of lost my excitement the passion that i used to get when it's time to eat so that is still the case uh, my cooking has become very basic because yeah because i'm not really eating it's just me my kids and my husband my husband is a picky eater he doesn't like eating like complicated things my kids as you can understand they're toddlers they're also picky so i always end up cooking like very basic things things that i know they will a hundred percent eat and they will enjoy so my cooking is always sort of basic and boring it's not as elaborate as it used to be when i was bigger or pre my vsg surgery because i would cook very good food because i enjoy good food but now because i am not eating much there's really no point in me going all out or being elaborate with my cooking so that's sort of where i am in terms of my diet my cooking my eating and all of that now moving on to my activity levels as i've been mentioning in the past few updates my activity levels have really slowed down so my activity levels are not where i would like them to be and i know i've also been saying that i want to introduce a bit more weight training into my my routine i still have not done that i don't have the energy i don't have the energy i won't lie and say i don't have the time i could make the time for strength training for me to lift a bit of weights and all of that but i don't have the energy i don't have the the emotional will to do it um so i'm not doing it i'm not doing it i will do it i will give myself a bit of grace a bit of a break um but i hope i will get to a point where i am doing all of that because i do wanna 
pick up some muscles in my arms, my thighs, and my bum. So, and my core as well. I've noticed that my core is a bit weak, so I do want to strengthen it, get it tight. And um, in terms of how I'm doing mentally or how I'm feeling, I'm feeling great, honestly. I'm feeling great. I've adjusted. This is the new me. Though sometimes when I walk past the mirror, I'd look at myself and be like, I haven't lost any weight or I haven't lost much weight. But I know, I know, I know that I have lost weight. I know I've lost a lot of weight, but sometimes I would just catch my reflection and feel like I'm still big. I don't know, maybe that's a bit of body dysmorphia behind it. But yeah, I know sometimes I will look at myself and think that I'm big, but then I would have to remind myself, hey, Ipele, you have lost a lot of weight. You are not big. I don't know why I'm feeling so out of breath. Feeling so out of breath. I don't know why. But anyway, that is all that I have for you guys. Um, It's a very short update. One announcement that I think I want to make, seeing that I'm approaching 12 months, since i got my surgery done is that my 12 months update will be the last update that i give you guys on regarding my weight loss i think the next update that i give you guys will be at my 18 month uh, point and maybe 24 months which is two years so every six months i'll maybe come on here and give you guys an update of where i am if i've maintained lost or gained any weight since my surgery but yeah do not worry there'll be other content in between there'll be other vsg related content since i won't be giving you guys updates of how i'm doing or where i am with my weight loss i want to try incorporate more and more videos of what i eat on a day-to-day -day basis so in between maybe those updates i would have was showing you guys what i'm eating and there's another series that i'm also looking into um for people that are considering vsg there's a series that i'm i wanna start where i'm giving you guys um advice on how you can prepare yourself for your surgery i mean on the days building up to your surgery what can i advise you on how to prepare yourself mentally or physically and all of that so in between those updates i will have vsg related content it's not like i'm gonna cut it out completely you guys will enjoy enjoy that segment or that series that i'm planning on studying you know what i even have a list of the videos that i want to film i even have like a bit of content under each of those topics that i want to cover i think i'm gonna take this weekend to actually to think properly about how um i wish somebody had prepared me for surgery so anyway now i'm gonna start rumbling on and on so that is fine but until next time guys i hope you enjoyed this update how are you doing how's your journey going are you still losing weight are you maintaining have you gained a bit of weight even god forbid <laughs> How's your journey going? How's your healing? If you're planning on getting surgery, how are you preparing yourself for that surgery? When are you getting the surgery done? Hey, and where? But that's it from me, from my side, if you're doing until the next video. Cheers!